what's coming up. Well, since the final back to school, we take you to Bridge, Georgia's County, where the closing bell just rang on day one. Plus, your back to school pictures. Every school system is back in business. Today, the last batch of Maryland students returned to the classroom. John Gonzalez is in Prince George's County with all the excitement as the new school year begins. We worked very hard to train our teachers. We worked very hard to make sure that people who shouldn't work for us don't work for us. We rode the school bus with the school superintendent on back to school for 132,000 students in 209 schools here in Prince George's County, the second largest school district in the entire state of Maryland. It is also back to school for 9,000 teachers and faculty. The new school year brings a new school altogether. The brand new Fairmont Heights High School, just miles from the old one, opening up to 700 students. Our IT Academy that is very thriving. We have about 200 students that go into there. Um, when those students leave, they can hold their certifications for IT, Cisco, Java, Microsoft. A new school year, a new high school, and new beginnings. A dark cloud has been hovering over this school system for the past years. Most recently, a statewide investigation into possible grade changing to boost graduation rates. Uh, the people on my team, we've never told anybody to lie, cheat, or any of that. And that's what the investigation is going to show. They're going to show that not everybody dotted I's and crossed T's, but there's no systemic effort to just make things up. For the first time, it's back to school after Labor Day. And the county will tell you it's very proud of its 13 National Blue Ribbon schools and a county that is growing more diverse in its school system. Now, black and Latino students make up 90% of the school system. It's not race, no racism here. Everybody can get along, and it's just, it should be a good experience. In Hyattsville, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News.